Right, today I'm going to show you how to recover data from a severely corrupted hard drive within Linux. Now this hard drive in particular was sent away to a repair shop where they attempted to do a recovery from within Windows and they failed. So my brother gave it to me, said look quid, give it a go, see what you can do. And I've done it. Crippled my system doing it, caused a lot of kernel errors. However, I've recovered about 70% of the data. Could have been more, I could have got up to 100%. Honestly, I was getting bored because the drive was so slow. Caused errors on boot up, I think it was like soft ATA reset errors. So let me show you what I've done. The tool I'll be using is called Test Disk. I've installed that in Ubuntu by using sudo apt-get install test disk. And the other tool that I would like is smartmon tools. Now it drags in a few unnecessary dependencies. So I've used the flag no install recommends with it. I want to find out which drive I'm looking for. So you can either use a GUI tool like gparted, KDE partition manager within KDE systems, or the drive manager within like Ubuntu. Or I can use fdisk-l and then try and find it off the list. I believe it was a 320 gig hard drive. So look, I'm just gonna make it easy. It's one at the end. <laughs> That's the one I'm looking for, dev slash SDE. Let's get an idea of how badly damaged a drive is using the smart monitoring tool. So that's sudo smart ctl dash i slash dev slash sde. Gives me a little bit of information first. So it's Western Digital Blue, 320 gig, blah, blah, blah. Not really much relevant there. So I want smart ctl dash a. Give me all the information, please. And let's take a look at what's happened here. Immediately scrolling up, I've seen error, God. Blimey neck, 22,000 occurred at disk power on, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of errors here. So scrolling up, I'm looking at the ATA error count. There you go, let's make it a bit shorter. So ATA error count, 22,246, that is horrific. Interesting, you know, when I started with the drive, uh, it was about 14,000, so it's actually added another 8,000 since I've been using it. <laughs> well, it's important in this case, when you've got a heavily corrupted drive, to actually try and take a backup of it first. And if you've got the hard drive space available on your system, you can use this program here called Test Disk. So I'm going to run it with sudo test disk. You can either run it with just sudo test disk or you can direct it to a specific location. So select the media to use, well, it's dev SDE, that's the one I've gone for. So proceed, so press enter. Now in my case here, it is a particularly slow drive because it's so heavily corrupted and it's causing a lot of issues for my system. So it will take a long time here before it sort of responds. Give test disk some information about the drive. So it kind of helps if you know what it is. So in this case, it's a Windows drive and it's quite an old drive, so it's not going to be an EFI GPT, it's not going to be Mac or anything else there, it's just going to be an Intel. So let's start with analysing it. Give me some analysis for the drive. If you have all the partitions listed here, well then, great. Otherwise you can start doing the quick search and then try and rebuild the partition table. In my case, that's not needed. I have the partition table here, that's correct. So no, I'm good, so let's quit, return to the main menu. Now go to advanced. I'll scroll down to the third drive again, so I'm going to look at image creation. Just select a location to put it in. So using the double dot, you can go up a folder level, so up, up, takes you to the root, and just navigate across to where you want to dump the image. So I'm going to stop here because I've already done mine, but basically you would go across, set the location, and then give it a file name. So press Q to quit. Go to quit. Yep, exit, quit. So what I have is this, image.dd. So I've taken 200 gig backup image of that drive. Now I'm going to run the program photorec. So that's sudo photorec, and then provide it with the file name. If you don't, you will get the list of files. So in fact, you could run photo rec on its own and then just try and take the files off the drive. It's just because the drive is so corrupted, I want to work with it on the hard drive to sort of 
increase my chances of recovering data. So select the media, yes, proceed, or select the drive from the list, then yes, proceed, so press enter. Now I'm going to look at the file options. So this is going to be the list of files we're going to attempt to recover. I went and unselected most of the files, so I just pressed S, and then I scrolled down the list of files that I actually want to try and recover. So I'm trying to recover documents from this drive. So I've got things like Microsoft Office documents, a Windows Meta file, yes, it's a Windows drive. I've tried for any audio, flash files, images, ISO, yeah, I didn't know, I thought there might be. JPEGs, yes, want those because there's photos in the drive I'm trying to recover. Video files, password files from Keypass X. And yeah, just literally looking down the list, I thought, what, what would be on the drive to recover? Now, if you leave it at default selection, you will get maybe more than necessary because it started backing up things like executable files and SQL databases. And these were things out of the Windows programs. It was a bit unnecessary, really, to get all that. So I'd just gone for that shorter selection. So select the partition I'm trying to recover from. Yeah, whole disk. It doesn't matter because I've backed up only one partition. So I go across to search and press enter. So what type of drive was it? If it was a Linux system, then the odds are it's going to be an EXT 2, 3 or 4 drive. If it's a Windows system, then likelihood is it's going to be an NTFS or FAT drive, so other. Choose where you want to put the data. So I just put it over here in uh, Rec 1. Then you press C when the destination is correct. Now I'm going to stop at this point because I have already done this recovery. So what I ended up with whole lot of data in a lot of folders. It's got about, what, 500 to 600 files in each folder. And the trouble is you don't necessarily know what's in all these files. And I've been given this drive and I don't know what's on it. But I can sort of look across there and think, yeah, what are these things? Well, odds are that's a temporary internet file. But it's got documents in here. At this point, I could just go and give the drive back and say, yeah, here you go, file recovery's done, crack on with it, get your files back out of it. I could be a bit nicer to my brother and his friend and sort the files out into a more convenient method. So in this case, I've gone and recovered all the images, put them into a specific folder. I'll show you how to do that with like documents. So let's go and create a new folder here called RecDocs. Now, navigating across to where that massive list of directories is, so I'm going to type in this find command here and type in a selection of file names that I'm after. So, got things like docx, doc, and go for PDF here as well. So, we just go for that list. Then set the location where we want all the files to be copied to. So, that was rec docs. There'll be a list of that command in the description, so you can run that, and it will take a little while. So I go across and look at the list of files that have been found, and you'll notice here there are quite a lot. It's found files that have been deleted previously, so it's actually done a full recovery of anything that was on that hard drive, be it whether the, an existing in-use file or a previously deleted file. Honestly, if it was me looking through it, I would start with the largest items first and then go down from there. But that's how to recover data from a severely corrupted hard drive in Linux. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.